Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is Pastor Shegun Baji. Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. Today, God sent me to tell you to have a dream worth living for. Have a dream worth living for. You know, dreams keep us alive and expectant. If you don't have a dream, you don't want to wake up the next day. To do what? But you see, when you have a dream, you want to wake up every day because there's expectation in your heart. There's something to live for. And that's how to live a meaningful life. You know, you don't need a drive to live the way you ought to live when you have a dream. Your dream becomes your drive, your motivation. What's a dream? A dream is actually the picture of the end from the beginning of whatever it is God has called you to do or whatever it is you want to do within the circumference of God's plan for you. That's a dream. A picture of the end from the beginning. And when you have a picture of the end from the beginning, boy, you wake up every morning and you don't need any motivation, you don't need encouragement because you can see something ahead of you. Glory to God. The Bible speaking of Jesus in Hebrews chapter 12. The Bible says, Who for the joy that was set before him, the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, he despised the shame, and right now he is seated at the right hand of majesty on high for the joy that was set before him. He could endure the cross. That means the cross was really nothing to him for the joy that was set before him. Is there any joy that is set before you? If you don't have a picture that you're seeing every day, that you wake up to see in your heart, in your mind, in your spirit, you may not have a drive for life. You know, there are people who think about committing suicide. You know, the reason for that is hopelessness. Hopelessness. When people don't have dreams, they want to die because there's nothing to live for. But a man who has a dream cannot think about suicide because there's something to live for. He can't be bored. Boredom is not an issue with him because there's something to live for. Have a dream worth living for. Wake up in the morning and let something, you know, inspire you within. You, you, you want to wake up and say, I want to do this. If you're a pastor, have a dream of pastoring the, the biggest, the largest church ever pastored amongst humans. Praise God. You can do that. If you're an engineer, an IT person, all right, dream. Go beyond your present and immediate situation. And that's, that's one beautiful thing about the power of imagination. It will propel you from your present circumstance and take you into the future. Before you get there, you know, in real time, you're already there in your imagination. That's the power of a dream. Today, have a dream. As touching that exam, think about passing that exam and begin to see yourself enjoying the benefits of passing the exam. That's how to exercise yourself. See yourself in, in that place that you're going. Inspired by that dream, you will leap over a wall. You will run through a troop. That's how it works. Have a dream. A man that doesn't have any dream is just a step to his grave. And that's not your portion in the name of Jesus. Come alive today by the power of dream. Have a dream for your life. A dream worth living for. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Have you learned something today? I pray today that your mind, the frame of mind, is elevated. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke that foul spirit, conditioning your mind to your situation, causing you to see your situation and see hopelessness. Lift up your head, beloved, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and look at God's plan for you. There's a goal in view. Surely there's an end. And the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off. In the name of Jesus, your tomorrow is better than your today. In Jesus' name, have a dream worth living for. I believe you've been blessed today. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you.